What are the stereotypes do you think Korea having of India? A lot of stereotypes. Of... Some people have even asked me ridiculous questions like, do you have toilets? Do you have cars? Do you have buildings? Really? And I'm like, my caste. Yeah, my, your caste. The Kshatriya caste. Do you think Koreans are welcoming to Indians? Mm, can I be honest? <laughs> Hello, my name is Ryan. Today we invite a really special guest from India. So I'm really excited right now. First, could you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Piyusha and I am from India. And I have been staying in Korea for around four years and I'm really excited yeah. to be in this video. I'm more excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, are uh, you from India? Which part of India do you come from? So I come from a little of west side of India. West, yeah. So near Mumbai. And I also stayed in Delhi. So yeah. a little bit all over India. All over India, okay. Yeah. I see Mumbai. Yeah, it's an economic capital of India. So a lot of people stay. Mumbai? Yes. Mumbai, yeah, okay. Mumbai. <laughs> Do you think Koreans are welcoming to Indians? Mm, can I be honest? <laughs> yeah, of course, of uh, course. Yeah, you maybe, should be. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Really? Uh, because I think, uh, not. I, I'm not saying it's unwelcoming, but I think Korean people have way too many stereotypes about India. Uh, they think India is a poor country, yeah. all Indians are poor, maybe poor, something like yeah. that. Some people have even asked me ridiculous questions like, do you have toilets, do you have cars, do you have buildings? Really? And I'm like, oh Nonsense. my god. <laughs> wow. If you come to Mumbai, it's it's all skyscrapers, you know, Sky all yeah. big, big buildings. Oh. And uh, so getting such questions is sometimes very annoying. Yeah. And I think people need to get outside of that stereotype uh, and one of the reasons i think korean media is also responsible for it and korean youtubers uh, Korea, are yeah. also responsible for it because i've seen so many youtubers uh, going to india especially to places where we ourselves won't go because uh, they are not safe yeah and they will go there they will vlog there and they will talk about oh my god look at this this is so unsafe so i feel even the media and social media has been been doing really bad job yeah. of spreading the stereotypes oh. about India but India is quite you know developing country where you know we have our biggest IT industries in the world yeah. like most engineers in the world and if you know like you know the CEO of Alphabet. Google Alphabet yeah. Microsoft even like the ex CEO of PepsiCo now CEO of Chanel yeah. and I could just even the MasterCard like I could keep naming the companies <laughs> but like you know and I'm talking about CEOs not yeah. workers you know CEOs are are in Indian yeah. origin so it's a very big thing like how Indians are trying to go abroad and trying mm. to spread their horizons and I come to Korea and then I guess get asked such questions and I'm like oh no are we not welcoming here because you know what they know about India is the India back in 1980s because it's a developing country yeah. it, it changes every two years the moment we are speaking it's changing Change, yeah. <laughs> so the knowledge about India should get up to date yeah I hope it will get gonna be changed yeah little by little yes and as i because every time i tell koreans about oh no india is like that they get very surprised it's like oh really because i didn't know india has uh, this i'm like okay i'm very happy to be able to communicate with a lot of koreans and let them know about yeah. the actual india actual, yeah 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 you're like a ambassador of <laughs> india <laughs> an official ambassador of <laughs> <Yeah>. india <laughs> yeah what are the stereotypes do you think korea having of india a lot of stereotypes of, yeah, yeah but like when i told you they think we are poor and uh, we are probably all brown but yeah. and all look the same but actually indians look quite different to each other north indians will look a little different yeah. south indians will look a little different even if you go to west or east or northeast like yeah. people are going to look very different oh. some of them will have features just like you yeah so that's how like wide and big india yeah, really is big. and so maybe one thing is that they have stereotypes about like they try to look at India as one country uh, but India is a very multicultural diverse multicultural, yeah. country with a lot of languages a lot of different kind mm. of food so sometimes when we are asked about like you know oh how is the weather in India so when they 
us that we are like what <laughs> because you know there is no weather in india yeah. there are himalayas in india there is like you know gang gang like how do you say ganges in ganges, ganges? Yeah. Like we say ganga river oh. there is like lot of mountains lot of rivers and everything in, in india that you know to go from bottom to top you will probably need to take like 5 6 hours of flight <laughs> so yeah. yeah so it's very big and weather changes every 50 kilometers but it's okay like you know i'm here to change those stereotypes about yeah. india and we also don't have like a national language oh, we really? we are we just have official languages official. like english and hindi, hindi yeah. but national language we don't really have oh. we respect all regional languages oh. you can probably imagine it like korean hanjongsik oh yeah yeah oh, yeah so, <laughs> so many like, yeah one one tray yeah. but different plates and different tastes ah, you know okay yeah something like that yeah like yeah. bibimbap like bibimbap and then you just like just like your channel's yeah. name you yeah, know that's you right. just try to do everything yeah yeah so that kind of stereotype is there but otherwise i mean they don't know much about india um, yeah but that's okay i mean i was also not completely aware of korea oh, back yeah. in india so i think we can learn about each other's countries that's right thanks so too yeah yeah I heard that in India there is a caste system, right? Yes. Yeah, can you tell me the detail about it? So, officially the caste system is not working like uh, nobody uh, is allowed to discriminate yeah, yeah. Uh, according to caste. Yeah. But I think because it has been going on for like thousands of years, yeah. it doesn't go out of people's mind uh, that easily. Yeah. So, definitely inside people's mind there is a mindset of like, you know, this stereotype of caste ah. but officially it's not allowed really inside our minds we have been taught like you know you're from this caste so you have to remember it something ah. like that and we have to marry within the caste yeah but i think between the younger indians younger generations yeah. it's been a little like, bit going away but uh, it will take a lot of time it yeah. will take a lot of time but it still like has started to fading away ah uh, fading away yeah. oh okay i see if you don't mind can i ask your position my caste yeah my your caste uh, so to be honest i don't really care about yeah. this but since i told you our parents oh, yeah. or our older generation have like have been telling us for years like yeah. you come from this caste yeah. and we know our ancestors oh. so uh, my ancestors come from maratha is like yeah. it comes from warrior warrior, warrior. so yeah. you can also see like the kshatriya caste oh. but then my grand grandparents who are warriors turned into farmers like they started ah, farming because yeah. the war was over and they didn't um, have like any war to fight for yeah. so they were turned into farmers but you know my family his educational background and my my dad is a professor my mom is a teacher so yeah. you know we have nothing related to being a warrior ah, okay. <laughs> but just the caste is that yes warrior warrior and yes. you may be good at fight oh yes Try really? fighting me. <laughs> okay, okay. I will be yeah, calm down today. Yeah. Okay. I think it's not that common in India to study abroad, is it right? There's many people in India who oh, study abroad. Not really. Not really. Yeah, because as you see, the most number of people foreigners in America are yeah. Indians. Yeah, that's right. And even like whenever you go, even in Canada, I yeah. think it's gonna be Indians. Yeah. Like the Indian population abroad is so huge, and I think Indians started to immigrate since British colonizing. Ever since that, people started to immigrate outside India, yeah. and I think it's been increasing a lot. Increasing a lot. Yeah, yeah. increasing a lot tremendously. So previously, it was not not common. but now it has becoming a little uh, bit common like to to do your masters outside masters. Okay. india but again it is a privilege it comes from a place of privilege uh, so someone with a middle class yeah. uh, won't say that you know i'm going to do my education mm. in america so they might either have to start saving or will have to get like loan from uh, bank so something like that but for me yeah. it was the scholarship because scholarship. yeah i got yeah. the scholarship from korean government oh, so to be honest if it wasn't for the government maybe i would have thought before coming to korea to study because you know the tuition fees are quite high yeah, that's right. and korea is very expensive yeah. so it's definitely not common for like people who come from middle class oh. so i am definitely like a little bit of middle or like a little bit upper middle oh, okay. uh, 
class okay, yes, in India. Well, what about the eating habit? Because I think many Indians are still using hand to eat. Um, I think it depends on what kind of food you're ah, eating. Ah, depends on so, food, yeah. Like if you're eating like a naan with curry, so of yeah. course you'll be using your hands because we're ah. going to like, you know, use our hands to eat the curry. Yeah, it's more comfortable, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's and eaten that way is the most convenient. Yeah, that's right. Rather than like, you know, with spoon and ah. like, you know, with um, knife because yeah. it's too much hassle to eat something. Right. It's just like, you know, do this and eat it like, you know, convenient. Ah. <laughs> but if you're eating like noodles, for Noodle. example, yeah. or if you're eating rice, then people will use the ah. spoon or fork, something like that. So, so you mean depends on the food? Depends on the food. Also in Korea, when we eat, uh, do you know, sam, mm. sam with samgyeopsal or mm. something, we use also hand. True, yeah, yeah. exactly. It depends so, on the depends food. Depends on the yeah, food, right. yes. And even when we are eating sweets or something, of course, we use our hands. Ah. So same in Korea too. So yeah, that's right. it's just that uh, every time Indians say that they're going to use hands, people are like, hands? I'm like... I mean, <laughs> the food is like that, you know, it's comfortable to yeah, eat it like fine. that. It's, yeah. Have you ever experienced racism in Korea? Um, more than direct racism, it's yeah. mostly been indirect. Indirect, For yeah. example, if I'm sitting in a bus or subway, in case I get on a subway, I sit somewhere. Yeah. So person besides me will get up and sit, go sit somewhere. So Really? Yeah. So, and it has yeah. happened to me so many times that now I'm used to it. So, wow. uh, yeah. So I don't know why this happens. Yeah. And second part would be sometimes when people stare at me with curiosity, which is fine because they're just curious. curious. But sometimes I can see a stare with some kind of hatred. Ah, is it like, why yeah. are you coming to my country? Yeah. Something like that. And some of my friends have been screamed at, go back to your country, something like that. Crazy. So, at least nobody said it to me yet, yeah. but this or even on internet, like, you know, Instagram, sometimes if my video gets viral, yeah. I have like a few Koreans commenting like, you know, she's not blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She, why is she doing here? And, you know, she's only dating Korean for views, something like that. Yeah. So, but again, it's not the whole Korea because I have had very nice people also. Yeah. Like mm. I have had one Helmoni come to me and say that, you know, my boy is so pretty. <laughs> I love your skin color yeah. and I have had random people come tell me that oh. they really love the way I look and yeah. like, you know, my eyes and nose. So I have had more nice people than bad people. Than bad people. Yeah. But again, I'm just speaking for my experience. Yeah, okay. Somebody else might have had different experience mm. than me. Actually, when Koreans traveling abroad and when they experience racism, they complain about it. Yes. Why they discriminate mm. us? Then we should not discriminate other people who True. are in Korea too. True. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is the last question. Overall, what is it like to be living in Korea as Indian? I feel as an Indian, I have like this sense of responsibility of being able to communicate with Koreans yeah. uh, and let them know about my culture and get some nice things about them. Mm. Like for example, Indians can sometimes get late, you know, and sometimes it's just like a habit, you know. Not all Indians, I'm not speaking for everyone but we get late like not every Indian is punctual if we say we are starting at 4 we will end up starting at 4 30 so this is something that we can learn from Koreans how Koreans are hard working so um, I always take it as an experience of learning that yeah. I can learn something from mm. Koreans and in return if I can give something so as an Indian I take that sense of responsibility of to be able to give and take so but overall I think it's not been bad but there are not that many Indians that live in Korea. Mm. They're increasing day by day. When yeah. I came four years ago, there were not that many people. Yeah. And especially during pandemic, you know, not that many people traveled ah, to right. Korea. But now people are increasing and I'm very much, you know, welcoming everyone with open heart, mm. open hands and let them know about Korea. So I love that the two countries are exchanging a lot of culture. But overall, it's been more about giving <laughs> because, you know, I've also been giving a lot of information about India that yeah. people are not really aware uh, of. Yeah. So, but I take my role really seriously. Okay. Yeah. I see. Anyway, overall, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that good. But again, no, no place is perfect. So yeah, that's right. As true. long as I can accept the the differences, mm. I can live with it. Any last word you want to say? Especially to Indians, because the cultures are quite different. 
our country is very multicultural, open to everyone. Yeah. Same like that, Korea. It's very inclusive and homogeneous, and they speak in one language and look similar. Yeah. So that is a very big difference between India and Korea. So as long as you understand their culture, it's sometimes difficult to you know accept it. Understanding is first step, and second yeah. is accepting it. Yeah. And then accepting phase is very large. I have still been in accepting phase, you know, accepting, but I've yeah. been also moving on. Sometimes I'm still. Accepting, but you know, you just have to go with it. And once you accept it, Korea is really a good place to live in. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching my video. And if you think this video is helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment here. If you like this video, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you. See you next